my sunshine, singing my only sunshine. Singing in the rain. <laughs> Whatever. Singing in the rain. <laughs> it's all God's weather and it's beautiful. How are you doing? Good to see you again tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, Kath, tonight we're going to follow a little stream through Glen Tay near Perth and discover why everyone is so fired up about bread. Mm, that sounds really yummy, actually. <laughs> In part two, we'll introduce you to the owner of Bike Leather, whose creations have taken him from Toronto's Queen Street back home to Chelsea, Quebec. But first, Graham Beck and the art of bread. You'll find it on the edge of Perth in the hamlet of Glen Tay. We're actually in what was Chapman's Dairy. It was a local dairy for this area for milk. It was run down and been closed for many years. The building has been renovated and reinvented. But as fate would have it, this remains a birthplace of a great staple of life. It's bread, hot and fresh from a wood-fired brick oven, inspired by a little stream that winds through the imagination of Graham Beck. Little Stream is my name, Beck, in Northern England, a Beck is a little stream. It's a great nature image, just plain and simple, a, a stream. But uh, I guess the deepest meaning for it for me is, is about change. Uh, I was in my 20, early 20s, I was, I was a bit of a rebel, activist, wanting to change the world and carrying placards against the various this and that. But, uh, <laughs> And be quite honest, I got burned out on activism and went off and did other things. Uh, the image of it, the way a stream changes is a lot more of what I'm about. Uh, I'm not interested in, in preaching to people and just do what you do and if it's good and people like it, you'll, you'll make a change. The bakery that hopes to make a difference fashions food where you will taste the difference. Each loaf is handcrafted created with organically grown whole grains and stone ground flour. Really what I wanted to do was blend the ideals of organic and health food with the craft of baking. In my want our breads to be as gourmet as they are healthy. I want them to be both. I don't want to have just one or the other. And so that's an intent. The intent is to put the two together and uh, bring that to people and uh, make our difference that way. Graham first learned the art of bread making 20 years ago. Later, a home-based business was born in Mississippi Station, just north of Charlotte Lake. So it's just something that all came together. It, it taps my creative side, my physical side, and. Uh, I needed a job in the country, <laughs> so that's, uh, I started the bakery really in the backwoods. This is not backwoods where we are now, it's in the country. Uh, I started way off the beaten track and uh, it grew from there. Today, Little Stream lovingly shapes some 15 varieties of sourdough or naturally leavened breads, which means no yeast is added in the process. A simple mix of flour and water is allowed to ferment in a controlled way. The starches and bran are partially broken down, so the breads are easier to digest. Little Stream's offerings appeal to all kinds of bread lovers. There's four wheat breads. There's going to be seven spelt breads. There's a kamut bread. And then we have our gluten-free breads. And this is, this is this growing thing. There's a lot of people that have allergies to this or you can't digest that and then of that it's common to see gluten-free bread. So we do a, a quinoa, a buckwheat, a rice and a rice raisin. Then we have a whole line of pastries. So there's uh, seven or eight different pastries, puff pastries and a few cookies. That's a pretty big line for a small bakery in wholesale. We do maybe 2,500 breads a week on, on average. Uh, over five days and uh, around a thousand pastries and a few hundred cookies. The bread's hardy and rustic texture is due in part to Little Stream's on-site stone mill. The wheat, spelt, rye and kamut flour is used within 72 hours of being ground here, producing more flavorful and nutritious loaves. 
in most of our grains, meaning the rye, wheat, spelt, are all uh, supplied by a farmer in the Peterborough area, uh, Maryland Organics. We get it every week. Uh, we ship it upstairs and it's really, really simple process. You have two stones that one moves, one doesn't. You, you grind the flour, you might take off a bit of the very coarse bran and there you have your flour.